It's such a beautiful day, our friend Ollie got up early so he'd have more time for resting and relaxing. Everybody deserves to take a day off now and then. A perfect, peaceful, quiet day until... Watch. See? Willie has picked today to teach his nephew the finer arts of woodpecking. Little Walter is eager to learn. Something tells me Ollie is not going to get a lot of sleep today. Huh? What's all that racket up there? Oh, no. Hey, Featherhead, in case you're interested, I'm trying to get some sleep down here. Cut out that hammering. <laughs> well, that just serves you right, you little nuisance. Now get out of here and let me get some rest. Hmm? I hope you learned your lesson. Now cut that out, you hear me? Stop it. <laughs> okay, we're even now, so knock it off. <laughs> when I said knock it off, that's not what I meant. <laughs> If this is going to be a battle of wits, I'm afraid Ollie is hopelessly outmatched. Now what shall I do it? Yes, sirree, by gum, the trees are full of coconuts and two of them have feathers. Thank you, Willie. After you fill them up, you can check his oil. I'm impressed. That's a 50-gallon coconut. Remember this camel? He was an extra in Lords of Arabia. Ooh. Ah. Hmm. Oh, well, that's show business. Ollie will do anything to get away from those birds. Oh, no! Sure spouts off a lot. Little Walter thinks he's got the idea, so he's going to give it a try. <laughs> That's enough to make me want to blubber. It looks like little Walter's having a busy day. Ollie decided that he should help Willie teach him. You hit a knot, better try someplace else. Oh, okay. Walter's a willing student, but I think he's getting a little tired. You're in reverse, Walter. Hit the brakes. Huh? Stop. Hey. Ah! Isn't there any way to turn him off, Willie? Oh, great. Walter wasn't cut out to be a woodpecker. He should dip himself in mustard and become a canary. You know what, Jack? That little bird's kind of cute. Hmm? Hey, cut that out, Walter. <laughs> what a rattle brain! <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing, kid? Oh, no, I don't look, folks. Well, now, do you still think Walter's cute? Very funny. Huh? Hey! Stop that! Get off my back, will you? You! It looks like poor Edward the Elephant has a toothache. He's broken both of his tusks. No problem, say the woodpeckers. Hmm. Yeah, sure. We'll sharpen those tusks up just like new. Thank you. Huh? Oh, no. What a revolting development this is. What do you expect from a pair of bird brains? I cannot believe I said that. Oh, come on, Walter. Give it up, will you? Ah! Little Walter is turning into a nightmare on Elm Tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I like about that bird? Not one darn thing. You aren't the only one, Ollie. The lady upstairs isn't too thrilled about this either. Uh-oh. What? That doesn't. You're driving me out of my tree! Stop! Will Walter take the hint and shut up? 
Not him. Now here's a riddle for you. Why does this tree have so many friends? It's a poplar tree. Ouch. I'm sorry I asked. Well, little Walter isn't going to be very popular with Mr. Squirrel, I'm afraid. Not when he sees his savings account has been completely tapped out. Nuts to you, Walter, says Mr. Squirrel. Don't look now, Mr. Squirrel, but I think you're going to have an early fall this year. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. How did I get on such a crazy show? Just lucky, I guess. It's awful quiet all of a sudden. I wonder where that crazy bird went. Huh? Uh-oh, there he is now. Just looking for some kind of trouble to get into. Aha! <sighs> hey, Hilda, don't you know it's dangerous to pick up hitchhikers? You never know what might happen. Whoa, whoa. Highly unlikely. Oh, talk about a crash diet. <laughs> that crazy woodpecker's been at it all day long. I wonder what he's up to now. It looks like another drummer is giving Walter some competition. Hmm? This guy is really going ape. So is Walter. I love his shorts, but he really doesn't have the figure for them. Uh-oh, what has Walter spotted now? Oh, no, are you ready for this? Hey, it looks like little Walter has fallen in love. Like every love-smitten sap, he's gonna show off for her. Our plot is beginning to sicken. Golly, I see it, but I just don't believe it. Not bad, Walter. I think the lady's impressed, too. <laughs> Walter's getting to be a real pain in the neck. That's it, Audrey. Head for the nearest woodpecker shelter. But I think you need to go two feet deeper. upsetting the chickens, Ollie. We gotta do something. Sorry, but I'm out of here. Good luck. Find someplace else to do your practice on, Walter. Okay. That wasn't funny. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> huh? Oop, ups a daisy. I think that did it, Jack. <laughs> hey, Uncle Willie! What's wrong? Huh? <laughs> mm hmm. Whoa! <laughs> the day has finally ended, and there's peace and quiet at last on Ollie's farm. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. Little Walter is at it again. Ollie is bushed and blissfully bedbound, but that bodacious bird has boldly broken into his boudoir. Walter is just aching to find some trouble to get into. Aha, wooden shoes. Oh, no, I even hear him in my dreams. Hey, what's wrong with these shoes? <laughs> Help! What's going on? I can't control my feet. Oh, oh no! Look out! Oh. Help! Get me out of here! Oh, no! Hmm. Hmm? Oh, 
I'll get my chores done fast today. Jack, look out! Hmm? Good morning, Holly. Wow! Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. Hmm? Uh-oh. How do you like your roller skates? I made them with my own bill. Listen, Walter, why don't you just fly away now and bill me later? I'm glad I didn't say that. Bye now.